Hey everybody, um, I know this is kind of like a roll with the videos going on, but uh, today, guys, I just wanted to explain the difference between a gimmick and a character. Now, you see, this is a question a lot of people ask me because I'm pretty much a very like good, knowledgeable in the wrestling business, as I am a wrestler myself. But uh, a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a gimmick and a character. Now, right now I'm playing a modded version of Sun Seven. Uh, start my role with Sun Seven. Anyways, doesn't matter. The gimmick is Gold Dust, right? The the gimmick is Gold Dust. The character is Gold Dust as well. But thing is, the gimmick is within the character. You know, Undertaker is the character, but the gimmick within the character is Mark Calloway. You know, and the reason why you need a gimmick with a character is because you see a little kid, he's looking down your television screen, he's like, who is this guy? What's his name? What does he do? What does he sound like? How, why is he so why is he making hissing sounds? Why is he talking very slowly? Why is he talking like that? People are going to know why they talk like that. It's, why is they talking like that? It's because that's their gimmick. Why are they talking fast? Because that's their gimmick. And the reason why wrestlers need gimmicks is because it shows a wrestler is very charismatic. You got Russ like Leo Rush, Adam Cole, Braun Breaker, Tony D'Angelo, Austin Theory. You got all these guys who are charismatic. You might not know how the gimmicks are. Obviously, Braun Breaker's gimmick is a meathead who is fired up. Yeah, I'm fired up, damn it. It's Braun Breaker, Tony D'Angelo, a mobster. Leo Rush, he's literally a guy, he's a finesser. That's his gimmick. He's a finesser. His character is Leo Rush. That's no, I already know that's not his real name. His real name is not Leo Rush. Who calls him Leo Rush? His character is Leo Rush. His gimmick is a finesser. You know? Undertaker's gimmick is the dead man. But his, his character is the Undertaker. You know, I'm kind of going back and forth for what I'm trying to say, but I'm explaining what my reasoning is. Triple H is the character. The gimmick is the game. The cerebral assassin. That's his gimmick. He's a cerebral assassin. He's the game. He 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 he's the guy that you look up to. He's the guy who plays who plays by the rules. He makes his own rules. He is the game. That is Triple H. Batista, the animal. That's his gimmick. His character is Batista. Val Venus. His character is is Val Venus. His gimmick. Is a flamboyant P star. Depends on what area you're from, as era. Usually in use of as era of Val Venus. <clears throat> the Rock. His character is The Rock. His gimmick is the great one. Steve Austin. He had three gimmicks. Stunning Steve Austin, Extreme Steve Austin, Superstar Steve Austin, Million Dollar Steve Austin. Million Dollar Steve Austin is his gimmick. His character is he's a shithead. When he's the when he's the when he's that guy with the 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 million dollar title, he's a shithead heel. The extreme superstar. He thinks he's better than everybody because he's a pure wrestler. He doesn't do just do the extreme shit. Stunning Steve Austin. He thinks he's gorgeous. That's probably where Tyler Breeze got his gimmick from. Stunning Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's a redneck. He, he takes no L's. He takes, he doesn't trust anybody. Don't trust nobody. 
That's his game. He's a his gimmick is a redneck who who gives no hells. He he, he stunners whoever he wants. He makes his own rules. That's who Stone Cold is. His character is obviously Stone Cold. Now you see you see what I'm trying to say, guys. That's the difference between a gimmick and a character. You need a character to be a wrestler. Because if you don't have a character, you don't have a gimmick within the character, you're going to be a boring character. I'm being a boring wrestler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. If you're going to be a poor wrestler, you have to have a gimmick. You have to have a character. You have to cut promos. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't give a damn if you have to say, oh, wait, I, I, I punch people in the face with bricks. You have to have a character. I have to see your character. I know I made me sound like a shithead, but I'm spitting facts. Ask Jim Cornette. Ask Eric Bischoff. Ask Brute Pitcher. You can even ask Vince in 2002. He said, you need a character. You need a gimmick to be a wrestler in my company. You want to know why Vince doesn't push Mustafa Ali? Because he's not drawing any shit. He's not doing his job. People, he, Vince doesn't believe in Mustafa Ali because he believes he's a boring character. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need a character. That's why you need a gimmick. You guys need to listen. I'm done.